So we'd like you to take a stab at creating one or more frameworks, just, just really quickly, like we just did, right? Really, really quick. And pull some how might we statements out of it, because the next thing that's going to happen is Brian's going to lead you through brainstorming. And you need those how might we statements. And you might, some might just come out of the, off the top of your head. That's great. They don't have to come from a framework. But you might find that if you play with frameworks, you'll get better how might we statements. Let's, do, let's do real quick questions. Yeah. That, that was, as, that was um, the best I've ever done. Yeah, as, as Ellen and I were talking about this, this, okay. um, this was synthesis 201. So for some folks who haven't even right. done 101, um, this may seem like a lot. So Brian take in, was like, this is my school. These people are way I'm like, smarter than I'm all like, of your MIT you know, or some, some of you guys went through this work about like two years ago. Years so I was like, let's do this. <laughs> so I, like, I actually, we, we do this probably not in a lot of workshops that we do with clients. So right. it's sort of a glimpse at kind of the messy process with an IDEO. So grab something as a learning, try it. Um, we, uh, um, we do this over weeks at IDEO. So we will fill our spaces with post-it notes and frameworks and there'll be torn paper on the floor and we'll argue about things and dog personas. So. This is messy, um, so treat your next you know, 20 minutes as a glimpse of that. Um, and we'll help you with some how might we. So raise your hand if you're having trouble with that. Uh, particularly with the how might we, you want to find a really nice balance between not being too general. Like I said, how might we improve the dog grooming experience? But don't say, how might we improve you know, the experience for people in California who have poodles? Like that, that still might be actually general enough, but don't get too specific where the answer is already in the question. So try and find a really sweet area that you don't get sort of overwhelmed by the responses but also don't get too like narrowed in. Yep. Remember, this Good. is, again, one more time, all this is for you as a designer, right? These are your tools. You're not making frameworks because you have to, but because they're helping you think, and they're helping you explore what you've learned and what you've experienced. Cool. One, one small detail when you work on frameworks, work on this size paper. Post-its are too small, yes. and you don't want to really want to write on your whiteboards. You want everything to be removable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And use Sharpies, people can see it. Sharpies, right. Yeah, I love that add in there. Go! Have fun. Uh, time lapse? Yeah. We'll do this for like 20 minutes or so. Yep. And we'll wander around. Depends on the folks at Oakham Pond or something like that. I feel like that's a pretty small each the cold and he was hoping it would snow. I don't know about sweating. I mean that it would rain so the snow would rain. Um, and this is leading up to it. Oh, so that's, that's kind of like half and half. Alright, so this is, these two I feel like go under that, right? The camp is yeah. also but fresh when you being new about it, but uh -huh. she starts drinking at six when it's dark and then is drinking until two and then she's depressed because she's drinking all the time. <laughs> so, like, the compounding, like, extra dark, <laughs> yeah. a lot of drinking, and then the depression that comes from both of those. Oh, it's on the chain reaction. Yeah, it's like all compounding. Yeah. So, that's one, they, especially for the yeah. freshman experience. Just like These people in the summer Summer's work out for like three months before, so they right. need to get in shape for summer. Yeah, there's a lot of peer pressure. pressure, too, right? Like, peer pressure, where, where? More, like, do you think this person would be more resistant to peer pressure or more susceptible to peer pressure? I, I think just, um, um, you know, wearing, like, wearing looser clothing in the summer, um, it makes people more body conscious. Yeah, so this person may be more susceptible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you think there's a there's more 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 Physically, how do we make people warmer? Like, what are people, what extra things are people putting on? But I think that's like a bigger question yeah, of like, yeah. well, they, do they want to be outside? Are they trying to just like minimize their time outside? Or are they trying to spend more time outside? Right, like, what, right. what are they preparing for? Is it just to go to a coffee shop or is it to like go skiing? And maybe like adding to the convenience level um, of going outside. So, winter boots are a pain to put on. Maybe having like slip ons and set up like lace tie ups. Yeah. Um, having um, the like three in one jackets that North Face has, so you just put one thing on instead of five different yeah. things. So, those are ideas referencing probably the making the adventure easier or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Going to the 
like straight into the yeah. ideation. We need to do that like arc. Yeah. Yeah, so let's break down some themes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, because winter is very inconvenient. Yeah. I mean, as far as getting dressed in the morning, it could take however long. And then when you get somewhere, you have to take off your gloves and hat. And oh yeah, there's coat. so much. I switch my shoes when I get into the lab. I think there's a problem also lab. with time because people comes from the fall where you like you uh, you know that you you need like ten minutes to get dressed, and then all of a sudden you need twenty minutes. To and get you have dressed. to warm up your car. Yeah. Um, and just all out. And drive slow. Time. So I think people get really stressed out with the the idea of having to. Spend double yeah. or, or even more. And even time walking more slowly so they don't slip. Yeah. yeah. Well, right now they're, they're, they're sense making, right? They're trying to figure out, like I'd ask them to, right? What's important, what to do about it, and like take a point of view on the world, which is what's kind of exciting. Um, so they're trying to take everything that they saw out there, all the experiences, insights, the look, ask, try, all that kind of stuff, and meld it together into one big picture about what they should do about it all. And come up hopefully with some pretty cool how might we opportunity areas. It's dream or the vision stage, right? It's kind of a subtle difference, but um, maybe it's the same thing. But yeah, where you're kind of trying to envision the big picture of what could be possible. And we're going to worry about what actually you do about it later, but it's more about, yeah, what do, what do I think the big picture is and what can I go after? What, what does this guy look like? The main role of this work is that people get stuck. I mean, I think the reason that we, we do these workshops for, for groups or for ourselves, the reason we do this kind of work is that we don't want to get stuck. Even though clients have asked us to do solve bigger and bigger problems and grapple with bigger and bigger, bigger things, um, doing this, you know, it seems kind of like fast and crazy, but you sort of push yourself past the hurdles, like David Kelly was talking about yesterday, these, these blocks, those creative blocks. These are sort of you know, techniques, games in a way, but important games that we sort of play to, to break those blocks and, you know, let us sort of think about whether it's winter in Dartmouth or you know, much bigger sort of world problems. We may not do it in the space of four hours, but these are the ways that we sort of, you know, unleash our creativity and think about big problems. I described yesterday that I've worked at IDEO for 12 years and I've done a lot of things, I've made a lot of products. Um, services, things like that, you know, rec made a lot of recommendations, but what's been most compelling to me is to just see through every interaction, whether I'm working with a client um, from a profit, non-for-profit, whether I'm working with someone in the community, whether I'm working with students, to see their transformation by using design thinking, um, seeing them, you know, as David Kelly was talking about yesterday, become really empowered through a mindset, through a process. I like to call it like you know feeling empowered and having a set of power tools that you can use to tackle any kind of problem, and that is really compelling to me to see people grow in that way, develop that creative confidence, and so um, in parallel with all of the work that I've been doing on, you know, for for clients around their offerings, have always been trying to do this kind of work with people um, in schools and organizations to help them get empowered, get unstuck, like you said, through all of these things and make some very cool things happen, not just get stuck in, in talk. That's what drives me crazy. That's why I love doing this stuff, because people do stuff, they build stuff, they dream stuff over the course of a short period of time. So, I, I guess what I would say is, <laughs> it seems that your key insight is that emotional understanding of what those people are going through. Yeah, yeah. So one hypothesis is that planning is the way to solve it. I, I would put that, put a, make a post-it note, make that one option. But think about it. what are, you know, what are, what are the other sort of tensions and you know, explore a little more about, you know, that yeah. kind of acceptance and what is it about people that embrace. Well, one thing we should look at too is like people who, because you have the like people who are happy being indoors versus people who are happy being outdoors in winter too, and trying to like pull off because those are totally different right. venues that you could approach, like making an indoor like cozy fire area, something to target the people who want that coziness feeling but don't have it, and targeting like trying to play off the positives of people who love winter sports and bring that. That, that could be a rich French dog. Um, What's that? With Katie? Yeah. Um, have you started to create me how my easier? Yeah. So that you can take them and put them on a sheet and brainstorm around it and not have to rewrite it.
Okay. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Is one of your is one of these frameworks turning out to be more more productive in terms of generating that way ways? Yeah, we definitely have one axis and we're sort of playing around with different um, things to pitch it against. Okay. Yeah, whatever so, feels like it's the most yeah. generative for you is probably the best one. I only get like one working two by two. Yeah. And what did you do? Do you just like I just I just avoid it when I can. No, I just just walk when winter misses. I got a mail. The storytelling was coming back and putting up all your post-its up on on the board and sharing your pictures and sharing stories about what you experienced. I mean, you're out in observation. So now you did some synthesis. Just a few words about synthesis. Whatever. How you felt. How it was. It was lame -o. It was whatever. I don't know. Vague. Hopefully not that. It was what? Oh, vague. Vague? Okay. Unexpected. Unexpected. Ooh. Spontaneous. Uh-huh. Categories. Categories. Variety. Compelling. 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 Counterintuitive. Okay. Overwhelming. So many ideas. <laughs> ideas? Underlying themes. Underlying themes, okay. Sometimes difficult to decipher your thought paths. Disconnected? Okay. Sometimes the steps are disconnected. Yeah. Steps are disconnected. Yeah, from storytelling and to yeah. I think there was some overall sense that some of the randomness sort of could become a little thematic as you went along. But the more, you know, if you have ten random things, two of them might go together. Yep. Yeah. And so I think we actually I think the teams on this side were all just doing it whether we explicitly told you to or not, but to sort of group themes together first and then and then try to create your, your work from that. Okay. Um, our, our span is really tight here, but start way down here or stop me. Oh, wow, really? Yay! No, no, stop. Right yeah. stop. That's too high, is what I'm too hearing. Too high, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, not in, like, we're not in the dungeon yet. That's cool. Okay. Wow, I, I got a bad slope. Uh, yeah, it's precipitously dropping. Right Good I luck, know. dude. <laughs> What's the word? The, uh, the tangent of the slope, right? <laughs> <laughs>